As we mentioned yesterday, we're taking some time each day this week for an extended conversation on a single issue the president will face in the next term. Today, we talk immigration with Doris Meisner, who served eight years as commissioner of the Immigration and Naturalization Service. I began by asking her if she sees any signs of hope progress can be made on immigration policy. I think actually there are some very important points of progress. They're not so much in the politics, but they're things that we could hope would affect the politics. I think the single most important difference is the blowback, really, from the recession of 2008 on the issue of illegal immigration. It hurt their prospects of being able to come here and being able to find jobs. And so we're now in a situation that's very different from pre-recession. And it's one where there is not any growth in the size of the illegal population in the country because there is very little illegal immigration taking place. So what one or two things do you need to see change for this to happen, for this to get done in a comprehensive way? I, I myself think that the message that enforcement is up and running and is actually working as a factor because- And it the, is working? Well, it is working in combination with an economy that has changed. So there is a window of opportunity in which we could legislate a more rational system and actually get somewhere yeah. with this hiatus that we're experiencing. I just hear the response of some people who say, okay, the situation's better now because the economy's bad, but what guarantee is there that enforcement will actually be better when the U.S. becomes a job magnet again, should it? And in exchange, you want me to sign on to a bargain where we're going to grant some form of amnesty for 10 plus million people? Well, you know, on the, on the, the 10 plus million people and amnesty, legal status, and so forth, more than 60, 70 percent of those people have now been in the United States for 10 years or more. This is... But, but breaking the law the whole time they were that's, there. That's exactly right. And they have been lawbreakers and therefore they would need to make a restitution of some kind uh, or another. But we do that in our legal system all the time. And there will be some people that will never accept that argument. But by and large, when you do the polling on this and you explain the circumstances and you explain who they are, the majority of Americans believe, yes, let's just deal with this. Do you believe that case can get through the U.S. House of Representatives? I think the case has to be made. I think that the election is going to be extremely important as a factor here. We don't know how the voting is going to go. We don't know what the margins are going to be. But if it has anything to do with Latino voting, there will be a different conversation in Congress.